people seem to be taking teeth whitening to the extreme. But if you only want to lighten up by a couple of shades, you can always pop into your local drugstore. Today, over-the-counter teeth whiteners are more affordable, easier to use, and more effective. But are they safe? And which ones will really eliminate the evils of everyday life? You're scaring me. Most of us like a nice white smile, but we also really like the occasional glass of wine, cup of coffee, or for some of us, a cigarette. The problem is that anything with a lot of dye in it can really discolor your teeth. To bring back the white, many of us turn to over-the-counter teeth whiteners to bleach our teeth back to their youthful shine. And shiny white teeth are what New York dentist to the stars Larry Rosenthal has built his reputation on. What you're really doing is doing the same thing when you bleach your clothes. You're doing something to take any discoloration out of it, bringing it back to whatever color it was. Peroxide is the main ingredient that bleaches your teeth. Dr. Rosenthal says most over-the-counter products have a concentration between 2 and 10 percent. The higher the concentration, the whiter the teeth. But if you find you're sensitive to it, then there's too much peroxide in that product for you. Over-the-counter whitening products aren't as concentrated as what your dentist uses, so your teeth won't get that fridge door white. That's right. Don't expect them to go more than two or three shades lighter. Now, it works best on yellow or brown teeth. Gray teeth are those stained by drugs like tetracycline won't bleach that well. You wouldn't know what teeth to look like that. <laughs> Am I supposed to chew that gum now? To see how much difference there is between these products, it's time for a test. Colgate Simply White is a nighttime brush-on product. Crest Night Effects also works while you sleep. And then there's Crest White Strips. It's a bleaching strip that you put on your teeth. Natural White Pro uses a tray system. Then there's the dentist-designed Go Smile. It brushes on and costs $97. We packed this local dentist's office with 15 people who rely on a bright smile to make their living because they're actors. First, they'll get their teeth cleaned. You should, too. That way, plaque and other buildup doesn't stop teeth whiteners from doing the best job possible. And then, leading cosmetic dentist Dr. Jeffrey Norden will color grade them all to see where they began, and then again after the test to see where they end up. Everyone may react to teeth whiteners differently, so we're going to use more than one tester on every product. And we wanted to try them too, but since you shouldn't do a full bleaching more than once a year, we can't use them for the full time required. But at least we'll get a taste of what they're like to use. If someone is experiencing excessive sensitivity, or just problems in general after whitening or during whitening, we recommend using fluoride rinses. The fluoride will help harden your tooth enamel. If you've got bonding or crowns, the teeth around them will lighten, but they won't since they're impervious to bleach. And if you're worried about saliva washing away the product, don't. Unless it's excessive, it shouldn't be a problem. We follow the directions. Now it's two weeks later and time for a color check. Three of the products had similar results. Dr. Norden found they did not whiten as much as they claimed. We recorded anywhere from zero to one shade in those three groups. And that was true even of the Go Smile that claimed you could whiten your teeth by four to six shades. Although one of the natural white testers did have a huge improvement. Marianne, five. Five? For okay. you? We have to wonder about, was it difficult to use for the other two people? Did this one person have um, uh, teeth that did better with this product? Were you sitting there like for hours upon hours with a trace in your mouth? No. No, I was totally sitting there the drooling. <laughs> <laughs> but even the possibility of five shades lighter won't make me try this again. Hated the trays with a passion. You didn't find it fun at all? <laughs> no, it wasn't fun for no, me. The drooling not, wasn't fun. I didn't like the trays either. In fact, I couldn't even leave them in as long as I was supposed to. It really does hurt. Ow. The Crest Night Effects, though, did show an improvement. Two of the people had similar results in the two to three range. It was kind of gross and kind of a pain in the butt, but it worked. I couldn't sleep because I felt like I had goo on my teeth. It was horrible. <laughs> the Crest White Strips gave our testers the best overall results. Group A seemed to all have uh, consistent results in all three people of uh, somewhere between uh, three to four shades. 
I felt some tingling in the first couple of days after that it was gone. Did you find they were a good size for your mouth? I found the top ones were good. Yeah. The bottom ones, uh, for some reason, they just always slid around. I, I didn't like yeah, I, had a, I found that too. So, a little trouble, but you'll get a whiter smile. Unfortunately, though, it won't last forever. Depending on how many dark colored substances pass by your teeth, you can expect the color to last about 6 to 12 months after whitening. Now you can extend that by using an electric toothbrush. Unless you're very diligent with your manual toothbrush, an electric will do a more thorough job on your teeth. Or you can always just swish around some water in your mouth after you're finished with your drink. So ladylike, huh? <laughs>